I played cards in England, I gambled in Spain, going back to Carolina, gonna play my last game. Jack of diamonds, jack of diamonds, I know you from old. You robbed my poor pockets of silver and gold. Whiskey and I was a duck. I dive to the bottom and never come up. But the river ain't whiskey and I ain't no duck. I sing the drunkard's hiccups and trust in my luck. All right, let's take a look at Jack of Diamonds, the melodic version. Start with measure number one, and of course we'll include those pickup notes. Just a reminder, this is in 3-4 time, which is also known as waltz time. If you're not familiar with what that means, you can just ignore it. You should be fine just listening and watching and playing along and using the tab as needed. Uh, but 3-4 time is just three beats a measure instead of four. Again... If you don't know much about that, just ignore that info. You can also uh, look online and for some information and look at playbetterbanjo.com for some information specific, specifically about playing the climber banjo in waltz time or 3-4 time. Anyway, let's go ahead and get moving here. First measure with the pickup notes. And let's take a look at the second measure. Notice that second measure starts with a triplet. When you see a hammer on and pull off like that with the number three underneath with the little bracket, that's indicating a triplet. And if you're not familiar with what a triplet is, uh, the short description is three notes crammed into the space of one, so it should sound about like this. Let's take a look at the third measure.
And that'll take us to the second line, first measure. Again, we're sliding into the fourth fret, third string. And the second measure on this line. Should look familiar to you. That'll move us to the third measure on this line. And the fourth measure. Now if you see that little, that small notation uh, leading in a hammer-on fashion to the first note of this measure, that's what's called a grace note. And if you're not familiar with a grace note, best way to describe it is it's just a very quick note, usually leading into another. Um, so quick that it doesn't really justify a full uh, time value in your notation. So in this case, instead of just playing the second fret four string, we give it a little nuance by doing a really quick hammer on. So we play the string open. Then we come down on that second fret almost immediately as we hit the open string. So let's hear that as opposed to a regular hammer on. So if we played a regular hammer on from the open string, it would be one and, one and. With a grace note, it's just one. One. I'll play it for you one more time. And let's move on. Here's the first measure in the third line, just an open strum. That takes us to the second measure in this line. Here we start the chorus of the song, and again, it's going to be uh, just an open strum on the G string, or the G chord, rather. And then we move to the third measure, where we're playing a C chord now. And let's take a look at the fourth measure in this line. And let's move on. The first measure in the fourth line, we're just working our way up. Now we're up on the ninth fret. Here we have a phantom stroke. We let that first note ring into the beginning of the next beat. So we have boom, chicka, chicka. And let's look at the next three measures of this line. They're going to be just the same as some previous measures we just did. Should be familiar to you and that takes us to the first measure in the fifth line of the tab just resolving that melodic idea to the fifth fret on the first string now again we're going to see some repeats so the final three measures of this line are going to be that those same figures we repeated earlier where we play over the G chord and the C chord. And that takes us to the sixth line of the tab. This is on the second page of your tab.
So again, we're playing that ninth fret with the phantom stroke. A little variation, we're dropping down to the fifth fret to end that measure. And the next measure, second measure on this line, back to the ninth fret. That should look familiar to you. Let's look at the third measure of this line. Here we have a triplet again. Followed by just a little basic strum. So we wanted to count that, it would be one, two, three.